Hi guys, welcome to Mickey's Makeup Reviews. I haven't said that in a while. I'm Ashley. Um, my nickname is Mickey Mouse from when I was a child. Sorry, I gotta start learning to look at the camera properly. So, I just put on this lipstick. Um, it's the one I got yesterday in the mail. It's Maybelline New York um, Superstay Matte Ink. This is Composer. Now, I put it on and it was really dark. So I started to spread it around a little bit and it got clumpy on me right here where my scar isn't so I'm not too impressed with it uh, it's also I definitely wear it in the winter not the summer so I'm gonna take it off and then we're gonna have some fun um, what was I gonna say excuse me um, I'm gonna be using the palette because I'm obsessed with it you guys it's the coolest palette has the craziest colors doesn't have some colors I like but I have 15 palettes to make up for that so um, I'm gonna do my whole face with you today sorry just uh, drying off a brush that I just cleaned so whole face starting with concealer so remember we learned a trick. We do our concealer and our contour before we do our BB cream. So I asked uh, my makeup group if they thought uh, BB cream was a good base and we'll see what they say. Again, we are joined by Thunder, Thunder Bomb or Thunder Fuck or something like that. Okay, yeah, I just wanted to try that color on. I am going to be using another color um, that I got from this one. It's kind of cute. I didn't notice this one. It's by um, Tattoo Junkie. Remember, I got five of them. So I also got one of them. There's another color. It's really dark, dark, purplish gray. And uh, I was thinking of doing a goth video, and then I found that pink. So we're going to use that instead. We're not going to go goth. So I'm back in my regular, regular spot. Um, to be honest with you guys, I like the other spot better. It's just the lighting isn't the best. At least here I have everything in front of me. Okay, again, poor Silky Bomb. I got it off Wish for two bucks. The price has gone up. Ooh, the price has gone up. So I used my Ipsy Nail Polish again. I love it. It stays on. I didn't even put on any top coat or bottom coat and no chips yet so happiness so primer first then concealer so I'm pretty tired today guys I didn't get much sleep and nobody usually do because my dog snores like a beast and I snore like a beast so we wake each other up all the time I left a nice color when I took it off, eh? I was patting in with my fingers. Do the upper eyebrow as well, upper eyelid as well. See, I do really like this. Um, because it's so light, it brings natural colors. Sorry. It brings the natural color to my, my eyes brighter, so after I put on my BB cream and everything, it really does make a difference. So again, that's Maybelline, New York. I believe it's about $15 in store. I got it for about 6 I think, on Wish. And it is real Maybelline. I double-checked. It's very hard to find actual real products online. I will mention that. Okay, next up our contour and concealer, or contour and highlighter I should say. So, last night when I did it I thought doing up here and down here was a little too much so I'm just going to do here. Oh, why is this light stupid changes on me? I didn't even move that time. And then I'll do the line here line here the 
line here and the line here. And then I'll blend that in. I got a cute new blender. This is Star this time. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to do highlight because I didn't like it. Blend, blend, blend. Still got sleep marks on my face. I also have a bazillion mosquito bites, you guys, in my hairline where I'm rubbing right now. Oh, it's so itchy. So, so itchy. So, yeah, I think the good sign is when you can see you're not wearing it. And there we go. Can't tell I'm wearing it. There we go. Next up, BB cream. So, we might have to redo a little bit of concealer, that's okay. Just for the problem spots. So I'll also learn to pat my conceal my uh, the, sorry, my BB cream wand after I've used my concealer and my contouring because I don't want to mess that up, right? Pat, 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 and then we'll make sure it's good after. The thing I like about this BB cream is you don't need much. Uh, again, I love the smell of it. It's totally worth the money, and I still have more than three quarters of a bottle left, and I got it over a month ago. So up here, I'm not going to worry about rubbing too much because I do want that to blend in. And there we go. So it only takes me about five minutes to do uh, my face. Well, I was complaining to you guys, so maybe a little less. That's just my basic face look. Now, we did concealer, we did highlighter. No. Yes, sorry. I thought of it. Like I said, I'm tired. And now we're going to use our palette, which I love. Okay. Do I want to? Should I do lips first, you guys? You know, I normally don't, but. So it's a yucky day outside. It's very green. It's been raining. So I did green yesterday and I didn't like how it turned out. I still have to get more comfortable using makeup, you guys. It's a it's an ongoing process for me. So let's see how I like this stuff. I did just exfoli exfoliate my lips. I, oh man, I'm still left a little left over. Anyways. Okay, so I actually like this one compared to the red. Oh, wow. Guys, it dries like immediately. Oh, wow. I really like it. It's a cute little matte color. Definitely could see myself wearing this often. Kind of disappointed it's so small. So, very matte. In my mirror, it looks a lot pinker than how red it looks on there. Where did my brush just go? Of course, I misplaced it. Okay, you guys. I got a few here, but oh, there it is. Okay, so first, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Make sure I got my BB cream out. So I use that as a base for when I do my lips. But I already did my lips. What am I talking about? So, um, hmm. What should I do, guys? Should I match my lips? Should I go for a different color? Okay, so first let's highlight. I always prefer to highlight first. So I'm going with this neutral, neutral sandy color that I usually usually go for. I will show you. I know I didn't in my last video. It was late and I was tired. I'm sorry. But it was a bright gold day. Hey? This is just a sandy color I use as a base. 
That's a highlight my eyebrows. Okay, now we're gonna finish my eyebrows. So don't think this is dark enough. Oh good enough. It definitely is dark enough. seeing I need to oh it's mosquito bites <laughs> oops okay so my eyebrows are even now but, uh, make sure they are okay and two eyes what should I do you guys okay out of my comfort zone here we go I don't want to do brown. Excuse me. I am sorry. Um. Okay. I love that bright pink so much. I use that the most, I swear. Oh, God, you guys, I'm covered in mosquito bites. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do the pink for um, my lids and then I'm gonna line with maybe black let's try that out should I use a bigger brush but oh well Oh, high school kids are at school. I can always tell. It's a frickin' noisy. Okay. Don't know why I'm adding more down here when I'm not going to be keeping that color there. I do need to fix this. Alrighty guys, next eye. See, I like it when it just looks like that, like, I don't know, I'm weird. It's a pop of color, especially if you're wearing a neutral lip. But we're going for more than a pop of color, we're going for lots of color. Make sure it matches. Which it never does, let's be honest. I'm just sweeping it on my lower lash as well, just because I did on the other side. And I don't want it to be uneven, no matter what color I use. I think we're going to play with some black. And when I mean play, I mean be very, very careful. Because black is a scary color. If you don't know what you're doing. Okay, we're a little even now. More even, I should say. Okay, now 
because since I'm going to uh, line my under eye or over eye with black, I'm going to line my under eye with pink. And we're going to get my sharper brush out. Where is she? I can't find her. This is not my sharpest brush. Now, I do have a eye liner, you guys, but I'm scared to use it. I really am. I'm missing a brush. Which is oh, there she is. Scared me for a second. Okay, give me a sec. There we go. That was so easy, guys, compared to using a brush or a, a pen. I can make it thicker if I want, but I don't want to. And wow, look at that. That was so easy. Wish should we look up my other eye, though? So I promise I'll stay up as long as possible. It's still early. So that one's a little thicker and not as dark. Sorry guys, going right up in your grill. So I'm just gonna extend this one just a tiny bit. There we go, now we match. So I really like that, the pink and the black. I'm gonna actually do under my eyes black as well. And always be really careful when you're doing this. Let me go. A little dramatic for the day, but that's me. And again, I need it too thick. I made it too thick, but I don't care, you guys. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. So I finished up with that. We're still working on our whole. Tony Moly, which I'm beginning to really like. It lasts throughout the sleeping. Um, I know I shouldn't report that. I do take my makeup off almost every night. It's just the few, the two nights that I haven't taken it off. I noticed a huge difference. So as for the hair care product, my hair is now a mess. So it obviously does not last through sleeping. So today I'm going to straighten my hair and I am going to dye it later. Actually, I need to go get some supplies to do that. Just a uh, bottle, disposable bottle. Okay, so we're done for today. Or for right now, I should say. I'm never done for the day. Let's be real. So we're going to put on some setting spray. Just making sure everything's even. Even enough for me, guys. Even enough for me. So I used four sprays there. Hopefully that was enough. So have a great Monday, and I'll see you in a couple hours.